What's up everyone? Thanks for checking out my channel. I'm really happy that you're here. Uh, but before that we talk about some of the details about my work at home and my desk setup, um, I made a little intro slash highlight reel of the tech that I use at my desk. So let's roll that quick. Like I said, thanks for checking into my channel. Um, I really appreciate you supporting my content and watching these videos. And uh, as always, like I say down in the comments, please give me any feedback you might have or suggestions as you watch my content. And uh, well, let's just kind of start talking about some of my desk setup. So what I put everything on, AKA my desk, uh, is made from just some Ikea furniture pieced together, a lot of different YouTubers and creatives use the same stuff that I'm using. So I have the Carlby top, and then there's Alex drawer on the left and right. And both those Alex drawers, they have the drawer where you can store papers. Um, I just like to have that extra filing cabinet space. So, and then on top of my desk, I've got two different monitors. I've got a 27 inch monitor. That's 165 Hertz monitor. It's the, uh, it's an Asus ROG monitor. I'll put the actual details down in the uh, banner below. Um, and then my second monitor is a 34 inch Dell monitor. Uh, both my monitors are IPS monitors, which stands for in-plane switching. I really like this technology. The viewing angle is amazing from all directions. There's really good color and it's really vibrant. It reminds me a lot of like OLED TVs. So I really like that panel type of monitor. And so that's why I've picked that's designed for both my monitors. Both my monitors are connected to a custom PC that I've built and parted out myself. Um, it's put in a Velka 3 case, which is, a, I think it's a small European company and they make that case. So I'll put links down in the description of the parts that are in my computer. But basically it's just a, an i7 computer that's got a quad core processor in it a pretty decent size external, or not external, just a pretty decent sized GPU. And then I've got about one and a half terabytes worth of space on it and like 16 gigs of RAM. So that's what I use at my desk. And currently I don't have a laptop because I'm kind of shopping for uh, a different, different PC potentially, or even a Mac. Um, I've been watching the 16 inch MacBooks and the Dell XPS laptops that recently came out. I'm excited about those laptops, but I haven't pulled the trigger on one yet. Um, my mechanical keyboard and my mouse are both Logitech, I think nine series. Um, and they're basically what I've had like since college, they're really reliable and great products. So I've, I've really had no complaints with those. Uh, I know a lot of people like these new Logitech uh, craft and Logitech like MX keys. And they've got this gray sort of sleek look to them. Uh, it's sort of like the Mac or Apple aesthetic, um, but I haven't pulled the trigger on it buying those yet. That may come in the future as I vi video edit more for this channel. Um, so, uh, but besides those two things though, I've got some small little mementos on my desk, like uh, this little Taylor stitch box that's brown. It's it's got nothing in it. I just like the way it looks. It's got this like heritage, vintage, antique looking map of San Francisco because that's where their main store is at. And I've got a Starbucks cup of a trip I had to Seattle that I keep all my pens in. And then just some small Ikea fake plants. I just like having some sort of greenery around, but I really don't want to put in a ton of work keeping live plants, you know, afloat. So um, those are just some extra little things. My speakers are nothing crazy because I typically wear a headset. So my speakers are the Bose Companion 3s. They're just a 
you know, middle tier computer speaker, uh, nothing studio grade or anything like some, you know, audio files would really appreciate. Uh, besides that, I keep, you know, just a charger for my Apple Watch on my desk. I really like the Apple ecosystem of wireless power beats pros uh, the Apple watch and my iPhone so those three together they really work great um, I haven't had any complaints I think my power beats pros are just as good or better than some of the Bose headphones I've owned that are like noise canceling and like 300 plus dollars um, I know that the wireless power beats pros are pretty expensive but I really think they're worth the money and honestly they they block out so much noise by being such a nice fit in my ear I really like those too, so I use those a lot when I'm at my desk just working, listening to music or uh, watching videos. Um, my headset that I use to edit, I just use so that it blocks out some of the noise. It's not a super fancy headset or anything like that, but my headset is, I believe, a Corsair. It's like a the, an entry-level Bluetooth wireless headset, um, but I'll put the actual model of it in the banner below and uh, I'll put a link in the description for it as well. So uh, the lamp that you saw in a lot of my videos passed, but now I have a new office. Uh, but the, the lamp that you saw in that little highlight reel too, is it's a pipe lamp that I built myself. Um, I, I picked out the parts and I assembled it and I did the wiring to put those light bulbs in it. So it's I can't really point to a specific place that you can buy that lamp because it's uh, it's a one of a kind. So. Um, and then on top of that, I do have a little metal arc that I typically keep on my desk. If you've seen them, I think they're the, they're called a book arc. Those are for MacBook Pros. Um, previously I had a MacBook Pro in undergraduate, so I had that to, to store my laptop when I wasn't using it. So I keep that on my desk, but I don't really use that a whole lot. Uh, the big mouse pad that I use. I'll have to put the exact model down, but it's basically, I think it's a 36 inch um, extra large size mouse pad. And I picked this one because it was all black and there wasn't a ton of, you know, graphics on it or, you know, huge brand emblems or things like that. The only thing it's got is this uh, hexagon like purple. And uh, I think it's from Cooler Master, uh, but I've really liked this big extra large mat. I've got so much space to move my mouse around and I can put my glass on it and it won't put any sort of like watermarks on my desk. So there's just, I've had so many benefits with keeping my desk looking pristine because I have this large mouse pad on it. So um, those are the bulk of the details on my desk. In the future, I wanna do a walkthrough video of my whole office space, but I'm still working on it. Um, I'm setting it up and so, you know, hopefully if you subscribe and like the this video, uh, you'll see that video pop up. Hopefully you got notifications turned on. And so in the future, you can check out that full office tour that I'm hoping to work on. So um, I think that basically sums up all of the tech that's at my desk. Basically, the only thing left is I've just got some random mounting hardware that's not too exciting. And, uh, you know, some of these pictures like this one is a, uh, a calendar that I got uh, off a national parks supporting website. So I just like the graphics. It's got a cool sort of sleek, modern looking graphic for a bunch of national parks for each month. And then right here, I've got a picture as well as some other small ones above my desk that are basically just uh, a local artist created all of these Minnesota themed uh, artwork. And I grew up in Minnesota. So I really like the, the look of the paintings as well as there's kind of a you know, enjoyable factor due to that it's where I, I grew up as a kid. So um, I think those are basically all of the specific details about my desk setup. If you have any questions about uh, my desk or the specific tech that I use, I'm happy to answer them down below. I got more tech videos and more overlanding videos to come as well as maybe just some small videos thrown in here or there about, you know, preparing for college or you know, applying to colleges for maybe some of the younger viewers out there so I can provide some feedback and maybe some advice to them about how they can prepare for the next stages of their education. So um, I really think that it's super important to have a desk space that you can feel comfortable in and be productive in and, you know, has a lot of those tech aspects that you enjoy and they're personalized to you because I think that I can focus better and I perform better and uh, you know, just something about enjoying your space and 
um, making it your own, I think makes work more enjoyable. That's why I think it's really important to design your own space and, and set it up how you're gonna like it. So um, thanks for checking out this video. I really appreciate all the support that you sh all show me. Um, I'll put links down in the description, like I said throughout the video, for everything that I put in my setup so that if you wanna buy any of those specific items, you can. Just as a disclaimer, some of those links might be affiliate links and that's how I can help support this channel. So um, I hope that that's not you know something too upsetting to you and something that can help me uh, help you guys. So <clears throat> thanks again. And if you found any value in this content or you wanna see more content like this, then uh, consider subscribing to my channel and uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks.